This morning in Going Places, what are you doing New Year's? New Year's Eve, looking to book a little getaway? Well, there is still some time to snag a great deal. And here to share some tips and travel deals with us, as always, is Gabe Saglier, Senior Editor for Travel Zoo. Good morning, Gabe. Hey, I was, I was hoping you would serenade us a little <laughs> longer. Uh, I, think that that's, really good. I think that's all anybody needs to hear. <laughs> we want people to listen. Yeah, no, we yeah, we want to keep viewers uh, <laughs> present. I, I understand that. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, believe it or not, we're already counting down uh, to New Year's Eve. A lot of us are looking to do something exciting and memorable and, and loud and, and crowded. A lot of us maybe not. But uh, there are definitely some landmark uh, destinations for New Year's Eve. And one thing is, is hard to avoid. The prices, especially on December 30th, 31st, and January 1st, will go up. I mean, they'll triple, quadruple in some of our favorite New Year's Eve cities. But the fact is, by January 2nd, prices can tumble 70 or 80 percent in some of these places and so if you actually extend your stay if you keep the celebration going into say the first several days of the new year you'll see prices drop in a pretty big way making a new year's eve getaway perhaps a little bit more manageable so let's begin in new york city a uh, magical legendary place to usher in a, a new year uh the renwick which is a hotel uh, we've discussed on the show before uh walking distance to times square where the ball drops uh on december 31st uh, the rate for New Year's Eve about 4.59. That's New Year's Eve. By January 2nd, that rate has come down to 2.59, and you'll start to see that first week in January, a lot of these New York hotels uh, under $200 a night even. So uh, you take a hit December 31st, but you stay longer, and then you'll see the rate uh, become a heck of a lot more uh, manageable. Uh, another big city where people like to uh, ring in the New Year, Chicago. As temperatures tumble, so do the prices. Um, uh, the Hotel Allegro, which uh, I've stayed at right there in the theater district. 144 a night over New Year's Eve. By January 2nd, that rate comes down to $99 a night. So just by extending your stay, I think you can spend, so you can save some money. Now I, I know I know you're the kind of guy <laughs> that would probably actually look to a place like like New York City. I uh, do. I mean Las Vegas. Sin City is a place where a lot of people uh, sort of wait all year long to get out there and celebrate uh, in in a way that perhaps you know you just don't, don't remember the day after. All right. So here's here's what happens in Vegas. Rates obviously go way up. On New, on New Year's Eve, the Venetian, okay, the classic five-star Venetian, 475 uh, over New Year's Eve. That's where rates begin. 475 at the Venetian by January 2nd, 169, uh, and you'll see a lot of hotels right on the Strip January 2nd drop to even under a hundred dollars a night. So again, you take that hit on December 31st, but you stay longer. Rates get a heck of a lot better. And finally, uh, on the West Coast, if you're looking at a place like San Francisco, um, again, rates do go up there in the city by the bay. The Fairmont San Francisco Classic Luxury Hotel, uh, 360 New Year's Eve, 199 January 2nd onward with valet parking, which in San Francisco is going to be 60, 70 bucks a night. So, again, these are these sort of these landmark, classic New Year's Eve places to go. Uh, and if you budget wisely and extend your stay, allow yourself a few extra days to recuperate, you actually, believe it or not, if you do the math, end up saving a little bit of money. All great places. And believe it or not, I've never been to Las Vegas, New York City. I will probably be there in between Christmas and New Year's. I love being there. Um, and the other great place that you have on the list is also London, because there's also great deals uh, across the Pond, right? Yeah, you know, keep in mind that the, the uh, Brexit has caused the uh, pound to drop to 30-year lows. It's also winter when London goes on sale. Uh, you'll see a lot of five-star hotels in London, uh, you know, four to 500 a night on New Year's Eve, but well under 200 starting January 2nd. So you can even plan and across the pond getaway for New Year's Eve and just keep, stay over the next first few days of uh, the new year, and you'll see rates uh, and the buying power that the American dollar has uh, be very favorable. Well, good stuff. All right, thanks so much, Gabe. And if you would like to snag these you deals bet, for your own New Year's trip, check out roadshow.com.